Welcome to Daytona, here for the Nicktoons 500 in the Nicktoons Racing League. Last week was the non-points race to Nicktoons shootout. This week is 30 laps, all for points. Here's the starting lineup. In row number one, we have the number five of Jenny, number nine of Jenny Wakeman, excuse me, and the number 95 of Tuck Carbuncle. In row number two, we have the five car of Twister Rodriguez and the 22 of Sheldon Lee. In number, row number three, we have the number 32 of Mr. Krabs and the 24 of Patrick Starr. In row number four, we have the number one of Auto Rocket and the number seven car of Brad Carbuncle. In row number five, we have Sam Dullard in the number 12, and we also have rounding out the field, the 20 car of SpongeBob SquarePants. So we will be going 30 laps here. As here we go off of turn number four, the pace car will pull off. And we are ready for out here in, Nick, in, in the Nicktoons 500. Green flag is in the air. As a little like Carbuncle in the 95. Gonna be toe to toe right now with Jenny Wakeman in the 9. Now, Brad, now uh, Tuck Carbuncle gets his nose out in front of Jenny Wakeman. Here comes Sheldon Lee in the 22 car. Getting pushed by that bottom line. Like I said, freight training here at Daytona is very important. Very important. We saw this in the Nicktoons shootout. We are definitely going to see this today in the 500. Sheldon Lee in the 22 trying to pass up Tuck Carbuncle. Tuck fighting though. They have an even amount of cars in both lanes, so it should be pretty close racing here at the start. No one making a move. It's the very beginning of the laps. Everyone's trying to get their tires warm for this very brief race. As we are on lap number four. Oh, here we go. Jenny Wakeman. Oh! Trouble! The big one! That's a good six cars. Into the top. My goodness. There's Sammy Dullard in the 12. It looks like number five of. Twister Rodriguez is also involved the 24 car of Patrick Starr, all torn up. A little bit of damage, maybe, to the one car of All Rocket. And basically nothing to the rest of them. As it looks like Tuck Carbuncle led to go to the caution flag, so he will be leading during the caution. Let's take a look at the replay. Ah, uh, so right about there, that's why I thought... So the five car of Twister Rodriguez hooks the number nine of Jenny Wakeman, sends Jenny Wakeman the number nine into 24 Patrick Starr, sends him up the racetrack hard hit into the outside wall, and unfortunately everybody else is basically just nowhere to go at that point. 
Jenny leaves with a bit of damage. Just a wee bit, but I don't think it should affect too much. But these cars, man, they all got torn up. They're they're basically out of the race at this point. From Mr. Krabs. Nowhere to go there. Just absolutely nowhere to go. From Twister. And from Sam. Oh. So after that, the 24 car of Patrick Starr is out of the race. As we have Tuck Carbuncle leading them as he will get the green flag when we go back racing. As here we go, we will be restarting on lap number 9. Tuck Carbuckle leads. And we're back underway. Tuck Carbuncle explodes out front here at Daytona. This is like Sheldon, and for a moment it looked like uh, Ginny was grouping up with somebody. I think it might have been Sheldon, trying to see if she could catch back up to Tuck. That's here comes Sheldon Lee in the 22, catching the draft of the 95. Trying to look down low, maybe not. Trying to find his way around this 95 car any way he can. Here he goes. He's going to try and make that move. Going to car of Sheldon Lee. 95 of Tuck Carbuncle. Battling here. As he goes to the lead. Contact between the 20 and the 95. So there's a square pants and tuck. As here comes the 9 of Jenny Wakeman shooting through the field. Oh, more contact between the 20 and the 95. That one near disaster. Brad Carbungle trying to get up there. Might be trying to help his teammate. Jenny Wakeman in line. The Carbungle racing teammates. Oh, here we go. Got a draft here. Two cars. That's going to be the five of Twister Rodriguez. And the 95 of Tuck Carbuncle. Trying to make their way up the field. Gonna be trying to pass Jenny in the bottom. That works. Now next challenger is gonna be Sheldon in the 22. Oh! Leaves Twister out to dry. Works with his teammate. No! Oh no, never mind. He does pull down. 
Wow! Sheldon tried to block. Tuck's like, I don't think so. Tuck to the lead here at Daytona. As it looks like every, all three cars basically pulling away at this point. Oh, here comes Sheldon Lee down low. Ooh! Twister Rodriguez may make it three wide into the corner! No, doesn't have enough room. But Sheldon does pull back out in front. It's a battle between teammates at this point. Look out, here comes Jenny Wakeman in the 9 and the 20 car of SpongeBob SquarePants right behind them. Yes, here comes the five car of Twister Rodriguez. Challenging for the lead. Here he goes. Down low. Jenny Wakeman. Ooh, she's going to try and make it three wide. No. Doesn't work. Now here comes Brad. Never mind. Brad almost made it three wide nearly. Twister Rodriguez in the five car, though, to the lead. Now here comes the nine of Ginny Wakeman. Definitely a challenge this time. Or at least trying to. No, doesn't have the draft. Does not have the help. 20 car of SpongeBob SquarePants did get down there for a moment, but it was way too late. The five car, a twister, who leads. Lap 18. Nine car of Ginny Wakeman. Gonna try her best here. As she gets a push. From Souls of Square Pants? No, nothing. Twister bruised and battered. That big incident. So now I believe, I believe it was um, six cars, including last week's winner, Patrick Starr in the 24, who won the next Nexune Shootout a week ago. Still, still too wide for second. And Twister still blocking both lanes of traffic. Ginny trying to make a charge, trying to make a draft, just trying to make anything happen here. Does it look like she gets low? Will she have enough room? Two is inside. And she gets the lead for the moment. Can she clear him, though? No! Wow, what a battle. It's a 9 and 5. Ginny Wakeman and Twister Rodriguez battling for the lead. 
as we only have a few more laps to go. This is lap 21. I think we may have a lap car up above. Or a lap... Yeah, we have we have traffic. It's the 12 car of Sam Dullard slow. So we have a slow car that they're going to have to try and avoid here. This should be pretty interesting. Oh my gosh, it's coming up quick. Where would they go? Jenny on the bottom! She's trapped! Oh my gosh! Sam Dullard is a lap down currently. Not getting out of the lead pack's way! Unbelievable! It's gonna be Jenny! I think I think SpongeBob is gonna get around them. But that's literally the only few cars, and maybe Mr. Krabs, if he can catch up. But that is your lead pack on lap 22. Oh my goodness. As here we go, Jenny, back to work right away, right on Twister's back bumper. Here comes SpongeBob SquarePants in the 20 car moving down low. Ooh, nearly contact there. It's here comes SpongeBob SquarePants in the 20, passing up Ginny for second. Talk Carbuncle moves down low to the dominant lane. With Brad in the 7 car pushing. Right here. Here comes Sheldon. The 22 trying to get Brad up front here. Here we go. Brad trying to make a move on the 20 car of Small Girl Square Pants for second. Remember, points do matter, so positions are everything because points are gained for positions. So top five is the best case scenario. So right now, Tuck needs to get back into that five if he wants a good thing with only a few more handful of laps to go. Contact between the 22 and the 7. It's good for the moment, though. Here we are, lap 25. SpongeBob is slowly gaining. Oh, here comes Sheldon Lido down low. Ooh, I think they're going to make it three wide. Never mind, Tuck does not have the leg. Sheldon Lee. Back to the bumper of Twister Rodriguez. Here comes Sheldon Lee getting pushed by his teammate, Tuck Carbuncle and team owner. Oh my gosh, only a few more laps to go. Lap 26. Here comes Tuck Carbuncle on the bottom getting pushed by Jenny. Now he's going to lead here at Daytona in the next team's 500. Watch out. Down low for Ginny Wakeman. She has a bunch of cars behind her. It is going to be a mad charge. I expect Tuck here to block and block and block like he's never blocked before. Here comes... Twister Robbie is in the five. Passing Ginny for second. We have a few more laps to go. Here comes Sheldon Lee. Sheldon Lee in the 22. Can he... 
make a move here. Yes, he can. He side drafts off the five of Twister Rodriguez. Twenty-two to position two. A few more laps to go. Twenty-two to the bottom. Sheldon Lee to the inside of ninety-five. Tuck Carbuncle. Number five. Tuck Carbuncle and number twenty-two side by side down the back stretch. Jenny Wakeman in the nine car also trying to follow. Here they go. They're going to make their charge. Sheldon Lee in the 22. To the lead. Can he clear him? Yes, he will. Two more laps to go. Oh my gosh, they're going to make it. Oh, they nearly made it three wide back there. They nearly made it three wide for a second. Here comes Jenny Wakeman in the nine car. Oh, here comes Todd Carbuckle making a move on the inside for a second. It's going to be four more corners to the side. This thing suits 500. And here comes Tuck on the inside. Final lap one more time around. Tuck Carbuncle clears the number 22 of Sheldon. He only has one more challenge. Will Jenny make your move? And when will she do it? Oh, it looks like Twister Rodriguez was slow. The five car is going to drop back at huge positions. But coming off of turn number four, it's going to be Todd Carbuncle in the number 95. Winning it. The next two 500 is his. What a race. That was an incredible race. The number 95 of Tuck Carbuncle gets a huge win here to start off the season. What a great start for Tuck Carbuncle in that 95. Wow. As the Nicktoons 500 comes to a close, it wasn't a photo finish, but hey, it was an amazing one. Nonetheless, Tuck Carbuncle wins. What a great race. As the race the results look like this. Tuck Carbuncle in first, followed by second, Jenny Wakeman, third, Sheldon Lee, fourth, Brad Carbuncle, and fifth, rounds out your top five, SpongeBob SquarePants. Six, Michael, uh, six, six, Mr. Krabs, seventh, Twister Rodriguez. He actually ran out of fuel that last lap whenever he was slow. That's a very tough break. He's in a very low points position. Um, number eight. And 8th is going to be Auto Rocket, ninth Sam Dullard, and 10th, Patrick Starr, after a huge wreck between turns 1 and 2, and it is day. So here's the point standings after one race. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. Take care, everyone.